All right, you guys. So today I'm going to show you how to trim a crepe myrtle properly. Um, this one's really, it's really full. You can see it's been topped before right here. In Florida, we call that crepe murder. But I mean, in Florida, in these growing conditions, they just, they love it. So what happens is the tree grows, right? And then you get somebody who comes by and just cuts it off like this. And it looks woody for a couple of weeks to a couple of months, depending on when you do it. And then you get this vigorous growth pattern here. And uh, that's okay, uh, you know, this time of year. But what we want to do is we want to bring this thing up. A lot of people don't like this bushy look of it. You see how you got all these water sprouts growing out of the ground. Uh, crepe myrtles are kind of like citrus trees in that aspect where you're just, you're going to get a lot of that. So the first thing we'll want to do is decide what the customer wants. All right. And they just like the uh, ice cream cone shape. And you can see it already kind of has that shape. We just need to, you know, round it off and then tuck it in like this. You know, get rid of all this stuff. And then you notice there's one big protrusion right here. So what you want to do first is see where that's coming from. Come in and you can see in the regular tree where we call that a co-dominant leader because this is just one branch that grew excessively from being topped before this is a flush cut so this thing never really fully healed over so you want to leave like a couple inches you know an inch or two but we're going to go ahead and remove that and then i'm going to pull it out and show you what it looks like after Now look, we can pull this whole thing out, coming all the way from up there. Don't be shy. Crate myrtles are probably the most resilient. Look at that. That's like a little baby tree. See? Now we can go back and look. And that little bump is gone. And it's just, I mean, that thing's just looking for sun. So you can see it's not getting any sun down here. So it just grows up at the top. So now what do we gotta do? First thing I do is I kind of clear my path so that I can see and work without things hitting me in the head. So I'm just gonna go around this back area and clean all this stuff up here. A lot of times I'll use the pole saw, but sometimes I use a Sawzall. And I'm doing that because I'm working at a, um, a doctor's office right now and I don't wanna be rude and try to use as many um, quiet tools as possible. But I'm gonna do that and uh, then I'll show you what it looks like. Kinda see now, I'm um, cutting all these off, the face of the tree, you see all these little stumps. Now you can put plant growth regulator on these things to stop them from coming back. They make a bunch of different things to stop them from coming back, but I've never really seen it work. Uh, maybe the plant growth regulator slows it down, but you just need to remove them. Now you're left with all the stuff sitting there laying on the ground. What next? So, so far we have two levels of trimming this crepe myrtle. Level one was removing the suckers, or sorry, level one was removing the abnormal co-dominant leader shooting out and ruin the cemetery level two was removing the water sprouts level three we're not quite done now we got to worry about the stem got this really nice smooth bark stem you know great myrtles exfoliate their bark like this then you get this smooth bark but when you look at it it looks kind of nasty right you want to see this you want to accentuate that because that's a really mature great myrtle so we want to remove things like this growing around the tree. Like this is just ugly here. When you make an aggressive cut or any cut, you get suckers that grow. So we're gonna remove all those now. And we'll take it from this to the next step. From here. Right here. Now, all right, now most people, they would say, ah, oh, we can leave it right there. That looks pretty good. But, uh, what you don't notice is that from other perspectives, you have this stuff in your way. You wanna see this stem. You wanna see that stem and you also wanna see where it starts to split. You wanna to start to see that natural beauty. So we're gonna go in there, we're gonna lift this stuff up, probably get rid of about this, see how that looks. And when I do that, sometimes I use a pole saw, but if you got really small branches like this, then it's best to just carry a pair of you know hand pruners in your pocket, always 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 and you don't always need to remove the entire branch way out he way in here but uh, i think that's actually what we're going to do for a minute because i think it's going to make it look a lot better so just go around so just go around it right this one shoots up into the tree so we're not going to take that we'll see how it looks after let's get rid of these okay sure. 
follow one here. This is the big part right here. You see all these branches just sticking out there from the street. It blocks the, the structure of the tree. So we're gonna go ahead and take this. You can see how people have the same ideas. You can see that old pruning cut right there. People wanna do the same thing. They just wanna show the beauty of the tree. Take these guys, see how they're going out. All right, so this is what we've gotten off the tree structurally so far. Um, probably about a three and a half foot pile um, but now we need to actually do the details bring this in a little bit bring this all up a little bit and then worry about these little tufts out here but that's a big part of it so that's step four and five this is the sixth step I'm going to go around with hand pruners and we're actually going to lop off the ends of some of these things and we know first things first that that over there is the lowest, most protruding part. So we're gonna go over there first. All right guys, so here's the before and after. Compare what you saw in the beginning to this guy. And that's all the debris you're gonna get off. All right, if you found any value to that, if you wanna subscribe, go ahead and do so. Hit the thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications. Help me out with the, the uh, algorithm. Everything is really good. Everything's growing. Everything's doing well. I really just want to help the landscapers and homeowners make better decisions for when it comes to getting their services done or providing a service. A lot of guys, you know, like me, go behind them and uh, got to clean up. But yeah, take care, guys.